your life and they want to celebrate and have a party and hope you notice. <laughs> and if you're connected, hairs are going to stand up on the back of your neck. It's called synchronicity. You're going to stop and look around and discover that. That's the difference. It's about energy. If I could paint a bigger picture for you, I would even say the entourage is actually physical. It's part of a quantum experience that you have not yet discovered or know about. Is it possible that spirituality itself could have patterning and be seen? And the answer is yes, it's physics. Dear ones, the master physician is the creator of the universe. All things that were created are part of the system of creation. That is God. That ought to make you feel good. There's a system, and it's beautiful. It's not that which is airy-fairy, you might say, and you just got to face a certain direction and, and hold your foot right, as some would say, in order to then find something that's a secret. There are multidimensional portals all over this planet simply because that's the way things work in physics. Some see them, some do not. Some know what they are. Some assign physical attributes to them. Not really understanding, you can't do that. Some will ask where they are, not understanding, they come and go. Sometimes they move around. If you have a quantum physicist in the audience, they'll tell you why. That's just physics. It's the beauty of what I'm telling you today. There is reality here that goes beyond that which is only logic and intellect. Perhaps you would like to awaken to a bigger box. And if you do, you're going to have an aha. This might be real. It is. To many here who have heard it before and sit because they want to experience the entourage. The entourage, listen to this, again, did not come with me. It came with all of you. It's huge. It represents a soul group, you. They all know each other and you don't. Isn't that odd? How would you like to tune in to a little more of that? What if you got up from the chair, saw somebody you never knew before, approach them, look in their eye, and greet the God in them that is in the God in you. Did you know that they're a family, that there's an alliance? If you both sense energy, you will know it. If you both hug one another, there'll be a reunion. Dear ones, this is real. The family gets together every single time those of like mind, or even those who are curious, will come together. My partner was a hard case. But he sits in front of you today doing that which he calls the wind chimes and fruit loops experience. Awed to the max, not in your 3D, denied by so many people who say it's not possible, it's a charade. And he came along very difficult. But he went to certain groups and meetings and what he felt there was emotion. He felt the fact that it was safe. He felt his heart open. He experienced things for the first time as an engineer. It was difficult to open that can. But when it got open, it never closed. It never does, dear ones. You can't go backwards when you know the truth. You knew that. Oh, you can deny it. Then you're in denial. But the can that you open never closes. There is no delete key in the brain. You cannot erase what you discovered. And so it is this time and this place with the attributes that the astrologer said were here. A great time to complete an old energy. To open yourselves to probabilities and possibilities and you don't have to know what they are. Dear ones, you don't have to know. Part of walking this path are the affirmations that say, bring me 
what is mine to have, what I've asked for in ways I don't know. I will be comfortable with what I don't know. And I will look forward to benevolent outcomes that I don't know because I walk in the light of the creator that I have inside. I create my own reality even though I don't know what it's going to be. How about that? And to some, that's nonsense. And to others, it's the mantra of life. That's the channeling for the day. Until later. It really is about what you will allow. It begs the question of who you are and what you carry out and what the biases are. What you will allow or not allow. Isn't that interesting? I'm asking you, what walls have you put up for yourself to protect yourself from what? Being foolish? Are you in control of your life or not? If you are, you can drop the barriers for a day. And if you don't like what you see and it doesn't make sense, you're in control. Put them back up. Walk out of here just like you came or not. What's wrong with this? I invite you to see what's here. I invite you to experience the love that is here. I want you to experience the benevolence that is here for you like you never have before. Light workers who have been light workers for years and years, this is new. Not the old energy. It's not the old new age. This is new. These are things that want to touch you. And as an, a light worker, where have you built your barriers? Or what you think is happening or not happening? Or what you think you tried that did and did not work? Throw them away. It's a new time. It really is. It really is. All good news. Beautiful. Waiting to be discovered by anyone listening or sitting in the chair in front of me. And so it is.